Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of writing equations and inequalities. This is standard 8.8a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 15 of the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got a little story problem here. We got two eighth grade classes that are selling raffle tickets to raise money. So one class is selling tickets for 250 each and raise $350. The other class is selling tickets for $3 each, the more expensive. Already raised less money, 225. Which equation could be used to find the number of tickets each class needs to sell so that the total amount raised is the same? All right, so we're dealing with an equation we're not dealing with an inequality uh, simply because we need equal signs. Uh, we don't need a greater than or less than. And you notice there is a not here. Every once in a while, that will be the correct answer. Most of the time it's not, but we can't just completely dismiss it. So we just need class one. So I'm just going to make that C1, and that's going to be C2. So basically, we need these two to equal each other, C1 and C2. So let's go back and see what kind of uh, numbers we can get from here. So one class is telling, uh, selling tickets for 250 each, and T is our unknown, and that is the number of tickets. All right, so we need $2.50 for each ticket, I'm just going to put a parenthesis there. Uh, and then we've already raised $350. So this kind of reminds me of the slope intercept form to where we have uh, this constant here, this 350 that's not changing. And then the amount of money sold changes depending on how many tickets you've sold. And that changes by 250. All right, so that's going to be our class one. Class two is going to be kind of similar. So it's $3 a ticket. So each, see this each right here kind of lets you know that it's going to be multiplication. So $3 for each ticket. Plus, they've already sold or raised $225. Not quite as much. All right, so that's going to be our basic equation. But as you notice, all right, so um, they trying to match that with what's going on over here. And it looks like they dropped the dollar sign. And it looks like we can just write it like this. Let me see, 2.50. I'm going to just get into 2.5t plus 350 equals, and that's really $3. We don't need the dollar sign. We don't need 3.00. That's like 3t. 3t plus my 225. All right, so let's just evaluate this first one. 3t, okay, so I've got that here. It's on the wrong side, but that's fine. But it, plus 225 plus 350. So... They, they switched these two constants, uh, so that is incorrect. The 3t needs to be with the 225. The 250t needs to be with the 350. All right. So 350t, holy cow, that's a big fat no. Okay, those are not your slopes, right? Those are not your coefficients. You're not multiplying each ticket by 350 or 225. That's very expensive. It's multiplied by the 250 and the 3. So that's automatically wrong. Let's check to see if it's c. So 250t, okay, plus 350, yes, that looks good. 3t plus 225, okay. So even though I had the 2.5t, that 250t is fine. The c is going to be correct because uh, it matches what we have right here, even the left and the right, which if they had swapped the two sides of the equal sign, it really wouldn't have made any difference. Either way here, our answer is going to be C.